Hello my soccer universe and welcome to my Premier League review. As I said, I'm gonna do now. This will be Premier League only, no other league tagged on. I honestly didn't see much life. I saw the latter half of the second half of um, Leicester Chelsea that I could manage and then, yeah, I just spent the day trying to get through the highlights and I eventually I made it. Uh, yeah, I'm still... <sighs> Not quite on the top of it, but let's see where it goes. I'm wearing Spurs because, as we'll see, Spurs are the winners of this round. Um, kind of surprising, although every round I could wear Liverpool because every round Liverpool are actually the true winners as well. But you know, it gets a little bit boring if I wear red and then white with red, red, white with red, and so on. Let's keep it. Let's change it up for a little, a little bit, and let's. Have Spurs. Let's look at the results and see what um, we can say. Leicester City Chelsea was actually a really good, especially in the second half, a really good game. Um, totally enjoyed that one. The big talking point probably at the beginning of the game is that Kepa was on the bench and Caballero is playing. And if you know anything, I absolutely, I, I have nothing personal against the guy, but I think Car Caballero is a liability at any point. And as we will see, he. Uh, well, it was not a huge mistake. He again showed uh, he doesn't exude confidence. And I'm still, uh, what he did at the World Cup uh, for Argentina, it was just every time the ball came, his, his, his direction, you had to fear the worst. But it was actually Chelsea who took the lead. And uh, I was afraid that Chelsea will play in those uh, black orange jerseys. I cannot, I cannot get really behind those, I have to say. Rüdiger, right after the half, uh, makes a nice uh, goal, assist by Mount, makes it 1-0. And you think, yeah, Chelsea might sneak, get a sniff to Leicester City a little bit, but Leicester then uh, turns it around with Barnes. After an assist by Tillemans, getting uh, the equalizer already there was a little bit uh, weird defending, but then really when Chilwell made it 2-1, that was one... Um, yeah, the first that was uh, deflected, and then uh, the second one, a uh, ball that's kind of in a uh, arc goes over the goal. Caballero wants to run out and sees no, it's too far. He has to run back. He makes it back into into the goal, but you can see that Leicester is almost calmly placing the ball. I mean, there were all the Chelsea defenders kind of there, and Chilwell can pull it into the net rather calmly, and it's two one for Leicester. However, then uh, Rüdiger, just five minutes uh, later, gets another goal again by an after the sixth of amount. Really nice header, makes it 2 2. Um, at a time where really Leicester had control of that game. And then Leicester missed chances. Um, quite, uh, I think, Vardy uh, assisted one of Barnes. That was a big one. And then another free header uh, that should have gone in. Uh, just didn't make it, so it ends 2-2, a 2-2 draw, where you gotta say this, um, although if you're the higher play ranking team, as we'll see, as Leicester is, they still have 8 points ahead, ahead of Chelsea, so a draw is never a bad thing in that case, but here, if you saw the game, it was points dropped. Next up, Bournemouth um, wins 2-1 against Aston Villa. I really take a liking to those light blue Aston Villa jerseys, but cannot say much more to the game than that, except that Bournemouth took a quick 2-0 lead. 2-0 lead is also what Watford had um, relatively early on in the first half. Um, and everything was looking good, um, but in stoppage time of the first half, Yerimina makes two goals and it's 2-2 at the half. And then in the last minute, after a really nice assist, just takes a touch by Moise Ken, uh, Theo Walcott actually gets the win for Ever Everton. Ab definitely a crazy game. Uh, Everton gets the win despite being a man down, Delft being sent off. Uh, Liverpool 4-0 over Southampton. If you listen to Klopp, and from what I saw, it really was that way. Uh, Southampton gave them some trouble and Alisson um, made some saves and you could actually see that uh, the final stats, it was a rather even match and then the scoreline is 4-0. Oxlade-Chamberlain right after the half and you know they get going. Firmino has seats, handles in the 60th to make it 2-0, the game is done and dusted and Mohamed Salah makes uh, two 
really nicely taken goals to make it 4-0 and Liverpool is rolling. It's it's crazy what they're doing. Newcastle Norwich get a, a, is a 0-0 draw. Tad lucky for Newcastle. Crystal Palace, yeah, a very unlucky win. Um, not only were they dominating pro proceedings, but if you saw the goal for Sheffield United, the goalkeeper gets the ball and pulls it towards him. But the problem is he's already behind the line. Uh, one of those really, really stupid goals. Um, so that gives Sheffield United a win. And as we'll see, this helps them climb up. Uh, West Ham desperately needed a win. And for the most of the time, it looked actually quite good. They had a 2-0 halftime lead through the open Snodgrass, um, who was a deflected shot. But then um, crazy own goal makes it 2-1 right after the half. But Snodgrass in 57th restores the 2-0 lead. But then within four minutes before the 80th, um, Brighton can equalize and they get the 3-3 draw. Kind of uh, West Ham cannot get anything going. Wolves were probably a little bit uh, unluckier team in the middle draw at United. A result that does not surprise me at all, especially having seen them now play for the third time. I mean, have 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 not seen this, this this time, but this was not a game I was looking forward to. Burnley Arsenal. Burnley had a huge chance right at the end um, to get the win. I mean, the ball goes against the bar and straight down does not cross the line, and then. The big one, Spurs against City. And when I said, yeah, this has lost its luster, what it has gained is it again Mourinho against Guardiola. I mean, uh, five, ten years years ago, this was a big deal. I mean, especially when they were Barcelona and Real Madrid coaches. Now, or, or already when they were both coaching in Manchester, it was a little bit not so great again. Uh, it was more friendly. And yeah, I completely f forgot about that rivalry, to be honest. It con uh, cooled considerably. What a crazy game that was. I mean, as you would expect, Manchester City and any Guardiola team against any Mourinho team will always have the possession. They have also had more of the chances. There was a tight situation at the beginning where uh tackle by Raheem Sterling, I think, or was it... Um, I don't, I don't know uh, who it was. I I, I want to say Dele Alli, uh, where he maybe touches the ball a little, a little bit, but really at the shin... Could well have been a red card. I think there they were lucky. I agree with Mourinho. But then uh, uh, City was lucky to not be after 50 minutes down a man already. Um, but then also lots of luck for City. Aguero healing the post. There were uh, numerous chances. Then they get a penalty with VAR. And yeah, penalty for Manchester City is not a sure fire thing. Again, Gundogan in the 40th uh, takes a penalty relatively weakly taking it saved by Yoris, who was off the line early and in addition I would say uh, fouled uh, Sterling then uh, in the box it should have been a re at least a retake if not a second penalty should have been given there it was not and then a uh, relatively yeah I don't want to say hard you can give the second yellow but Sinjenko you can see he looks right at the sports player and Bumps him. Yes, it is a it is a foul. So yeah, by the letter of the law, is a second yellow card. He sent off, and that turns the game around because Stephen Bergwijn three minutes later uh, assists by Lucas Moura, but he really nicely because he controls it and turns and takes a shot. He just was bought. I remember he got injured in the game against Lusk. He gave Lusk so much trouble in in Tofen. but yeah. Turns around, makes a really nice goal, and then just uh, eight minutes later, Hyun Min Song makes it 2 0, and Spurs pull out a pretty big victory. And now, if we look in the table, we have Liverpool through that loss of Manchester City now 22 points ahead. To put this in perspective, this means they can afford losing seven games, or in other words, 38 rounds in round 31. They can, uh, or 32, they can already seal the championship. So it's only six or seven more wins that they need to get, and they're champions. And that seems perfectly doable the way things are going.
City is just staying above Leicester City two points. So Leicester is a draw. <laughs> they close the gap to second spot. And Leicester City, as I said, still has eight points uh, over Chelsea. But now uh, Tottenham is breathing down Chelsea's neck. Also Sheffield United is moving up ahead of Manchester United and Wolves. Wolves... <laughs> Always looks like they are teasing. They could get in the, in the top four, but they're always not making it quite. Everton overtakes Arsenal, um, uh, who are level on points with Burnley. No wonder they played uh, Newcastle, despite the losses moving up because Southampton got uh, hammered and now they are losing a spot over Newcastle. Palace also loses uh, spots due to their unlucky loss. And then if you look at the bottom of the table, Bournemouth with the win is lifting themselves out of trouble again. 26 points and with Aston Villa 25 just outside. West Ham 24, Watford 23. And it's only Norwich that really seems like a certainty. But I think between Bournemouth, Aston Villa, West Ham, Watford and with some bad luck Brighton could also go in there. So yeah, there's quite some to go. That was my review of the Premier League weekend. Um, let me know how you saw the games, especially if you've watched more than me. As I said, I watched only highlights, but they were rather extensive, I have to say. So I think I got a good grip of most of these games. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.